in coming problem we are going to discuss conservation of angular momentum principle so let us move to the question section in this problem it is given a uniform and uniform disk of mass 1 kg mounted on a fixed vertical axle passing through its center can rotate without friction such that the its plane is horizontal you can observe this is a, a uniform disk of mass 1 kg the axis of rotation is passing through o and this axis of rotation is vertical and plane of the disk is always horizontal and in the next part of the question it is given on the top surface of the disk there is a semi circular group op this is the semi circular group okay in next part of the question it is given a small ball b this is a small ball b its mass 1.5 kg is given when push on the disk towards center o like this right and it enter the group and move in the group without friction and leave the disk at this position and here we need to calculate the speed of the ball when it leave the disk okay and we need to neglect the loss of the mass due to cutting of the group that means we can consider this disk as a complete uniform disk having moment of inertia mr square by 2 about an axis passing through o so let us analyze the situation first of all we need to identify our system our system consists of this disk and this ball so here first of all let us assign system as ball and disk right and we can observe here the axis of rotation is passing through o and it is vertical so here we can find there is no external torque acting about our axis of rotation so here we can say we can apply the conservation of angular momentum principle about the axis passing through o and which is vertical we know so let us conserve the angular momentum about this axis okay this axis we know this is perpendicular to the plane of the disk and in the vertical direction so here we can write initial angular momentum is equal to final angular momentum first of all let us identify initial angular momentum right initial angular momentum that means the angular momentum of the system about o the axis passing through o and we can find the disk is not rotating and this direction of the velocity of ball b is passing through o that means initial angular momentum of the system is equal to zero that means l initial vector equal to zero in the second case that is the final angular momentum when this ball leave at this position we can find the ball will have the linear velocity and disk will also start rotating so in this case we can write the final angular momentum as i c m omega plus r cross m multiplied by v vector right so we need to calculate this value that is the final angular momentum let us assign the velocity of the ball at this position let us assign the velocity of the ball which will be in the tangent direction that is a small v and velocity of the ball at this position is v not so v not here and v is at this position and let us take the angular velocity of the disk about this axis in the clockwise sense and it is having the value omega at the time of leaving of the ball so let us calculate the final angular momentum this one this one equal to i c m omega that means mr square divided by 2 multiplied by omega and we have taken the velocity angular velocity in the clockwise sense that means we can use the right hand rule to find the direction of the vector that will be into the plane you can use your right hand you will find the angular momentum vector due to rotation into the plane that means along the minus z direction that is minus k cap let us find the angular momentum of this ball which is moving in this direction and angular momentum about this should be equal to mvr and direction again from the right hand rule and it will be along the plus z direction that is perpendicular to the plane of the screen and toward you so here we can write angular momentum like this okay this is the final angular momentum as we discuss angular momentum is conserved that means l initial should be equal to l final so let us equate these angular momentum 
from here we can find the relationship of the omega and v so let us solve right k and k we can cancel out so we can write 1.5 v are equal to this is m m we know 1 kg and small m equal to 1.5 kg and r and here is r square so here we can write 3 v equal to omega r let this equation number 3 now we got this equation and here we can observe we have two variable v and omega and we have one equation that means we need one more equation and we know there is no loss of energy that means we can conserve the mechanical energy of the system so let us conserve the mechanical energy of the system and we know initial mechanical energy is equal to kinetic energy of the ball that is equal to half m v naught square and final mechanical energy is a rotational kinetic energy of the disc and translational kinetic energy of the ball that is equal to half m v square plus half i omega square so here we can write 1 by 2 m v naught square equal to half m v square plus half i omega square okay now we can substitute the value 1 by 2 1 by 2 and 1 by 2 will get cancelled right and we know i equal to m r square by 2 and m equal to 1 kg we can further write right and we can simplify to get this equation that is 12 equal to 3 v square plus omega square r square and in the previous place we have calculated omega r equal to 3 v so let us substitute the value of omega r here so this value is equal to 12 equal to 3 v square plus 9 v square and here we get the value of v equal to 1 meter per second this is the speed of the ball at the time of leaving the disc at this position at p okay